They save 911 calls for emergencies only, not weather updates. Those emergency calls will go right to Louisville's Metro Safe. They are prepared for any call that comes in. And our Taylor Woods is live there in their emergency operations center right now. Taylor, what's going on? Well, yeah, Brooke, this is the observation center. As you can see, they're keeping a close eye on these monitors behind me. They're monitoring any road light conditions, any emergency reports and calls nonstop. And I'm here with Jody Myman. Now, Jody, earlier today, the rain was coming down really heavy. As of right now, what are you seeing on your end when it comes to any fallen power lines, any fallen trees, um, any backed up routes? So we haven't got any reports or many reports of any widespread power outages. Uh, the biggest thing that we had this morning with the rain was uh, was the flood, some of the flooded roadways and interstates. So at the time we had about eight of them that were blocked out. Uh, currently we only have two left. Breckenridge and Six Mile and 37th and Bank are the only two uh, floated areas. But you know as the rain goes on, we still emphasize you know turn around, don't drown. We don't want anybody driving into flooded roadways. Um, you know because six inches of water can stall your car. And what advice do you have for people who are either driving in these conditions or someone who's thinking about going out today? You know, it's it's severe weather week and we've preached it all week. Prepare now. Know what you're going to do, um, you know, before the storm hits. So how you're going to get your notifications, uh, specifically where you're going to be at the, at the time frame when the storm is supposed to hit, when the storms are going to come through Louisville or wherever you're at. So just, just know what you're going to do wherever you're at. All right. Well, thank you, Jody. Make sure you continue to watch all of our shows today as if we will be providing updates on air and online. Live at Metro Safe, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side. Taylor, thank you. LG&E and, and KU crews are currently on standby as those damaging winds are expected to be so strong enough to bring that widespread power outage to our area.